Welcome back to Dubai. Follow along as Stevie and I spend six days in the UAE. Oh, it's so warm. And get to explore some of the touristy destinations available. Let's get started at the hotel. So today I want to work on chest. So I should be doing dumbbell bench press, which I think is just over there. Dumbbell fly. Dips. Where's the dip? Oh, there. Here's the dip bars. I like these. Let me have a go. They're pretty wide. They're meant to be a bit closer. Oh, get it. 803. No. <laughs> all right, I'll give you a quick run through of all the different spots. We've got the dips, except they are pretty wide. All these different pull-up bars. <sighs> you reckon I can do muscle-ups again? Probably no, not. don't do it without stretching. Without stretching. <laughs> Pretty low punching bag, bead bag. What are these? Oh god, that was heavy. It's not too bad. We've got all our dumbbells. We've got our twenties. How much is that weigh? Twenty. I wonder how accurate the weight is because. Oh, and then this is triceps. So have a check this out. So this is actually pretty hard. That's way heavier than 10, and this is way lighter than 20. There's a cute little room over there too. They do yoga in there sometimes. Oh, is this the yoga room? Yeah. Thought we'd go down the beach. It is high tide and no wind, super nice. Oh, the cruise ship's still in. That only turned up yesterday. Is it warm or cold? Oh, it's so warm. It's pretty nice, so this is our beach. It's very calm, no wind, the water is pretty warm. Should we go for a swim? And the Ferris wheel hasn't turned the whole time we've been here, has it? And then check out our view, Stevie. This is our resort. This place next door has a really cool little car thing, but I can't see it out. We just walked up the beach to see what this is. We think it's a ride, you can sit under it. It goes up and down, I think. This part of Dubai's JBR Beach kind of like a little island. Well, it's a very big island, actually. One thing we've realised about Dubai is it doesn't seem like anything's that far away because everything's so big. But then you try and walk towards something and it, it takes forever. And it looked like it was real close. Righty then, as you can probably tell from our last episode, Stevie and I, we're still in Dubai. And this is JBR Beach. We are hanging around here at the moment and checking it out. This is about the only footage I was able to get with a GoPro before being asked to put it away. But nonetheless... We're going to the palm today. It's for the palm. Today we are heading to the palm. Now, to make no mistake, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. First things first, we caught a taxi and found ourselves hurtling down an eight lane highway on this Palm Island. I did not expect that. That is a good indicator of how big this man-made island really is. It is extremely impressive, let me tell you. And we are heading towards the Atlantis Hotel, which contains the Lost Chambers Aquarium. Aqua Adventure Water Park. However, we're not going to the water park, we're going to the aquarium. Didn't really know what to expect, but as soon as I saw the door, Stevie was filled with excitement for this aquarium while I was mentally preparing myself to casually stroll past a few fish tanks. However, boy, was I in for a shop. Welcome to the tank full of live wires. This is the eel tank, absolutely shocking. But in all seriousness, this is an extremely impressive aquarium. Uh, probably one of the best I've ever seen. However, I haven't really been to that many aquariums, to be honest. We hung out here for around about an hour or so. It's rated at three hours, which I, I don't think you could really spend that long in here. But yes, I thought it best to check the thickness of the glass. There's a lot of water in here. Seems two. safe to me. Whoa. Actually had a fair bit of time to spare, so I'm throwing in some slow motion, just trying her out on the phone. What do you reckon? Looks pretty smooth. Also did a few time lapses as well. Aroma. Oh, oh, sorry. We actually ended up doing two laps of this place just to make sure we didn't miss anything before hitting the gift store. 
Stevie's got a weird obsession with getting stuffed animals on holiday. But yeah, as you can see, guys, super relaxing and the entire place is uh, really well set up and yeah, I'd recommend coming here if you are in the area. Welcome to the Atlantis Royale. Now, if you like luxury holidays, this is the hotel for you. This one is bougie, as Stevie would say. And we were lucky enough to catch it at the moment with the Louis Vuitton sculptures scattered around the building. They even had QR codes at the pillars so you could read about each sculpture. Pretty cool little art display. This again, way, way bigger in person than I thought. I'd seen it online when I was researching Beach it's on Stevie's bucket list. But is this the Louis Vuitton? Yeah, it's not a Louis Vuitton like fashion pop-up store here. Yeah. But that's why you see all these sculptures. You can like scan the QR code to see what it is. After a quick orientation on the local map, it was time to hit the pool. Not the top pool unfortunately, but we will it be. Is. There's a pool on top. Bougie. Chilling at this other pool for the rest of the day and having lunch. Safe to say Stevie is in her element. We've ordered snacks, chips, broccolini. That is random. But it all went with my whiskey and coke really, really well. It wasn't long till I actually remembered we are right on the beach here. This is one of the palm fronds on the island. So I thought I'd go down and check it out and the water was actually really nice and you can see so much of the city here. Is it cold? Ah, it's like the next suburb over. After what was a very relaxing lunch, it was time to go and explore this hotel. Unsure of whether we're meant to be in here or not. Oh. What is it? and some extremely interesting artworks which had me mesmerized although not as much as this elevator that seems to have a serious water leak and not to mention this waterfall that is on fire After conducting a fair bit of research, Stevie has concluded that this is the spot for dinner tonight. It is known as Culture Cafe and it is on the water here. Right in front of the Burj Khalifa and we are lined up for the evening fountain show, would you believe it? It's almost like Stevie's thought about this before booking. As you can see, it's actually a very popular show. There is thousands of people down here waiting to watch and I can see why the entire building turns into a screen. There's fountains, there's audio, there's... Holy heck, is that a Nando's? This place just went up a notch in my book. Alrighty, I've had an Asahi for dinner and I am lit. I've never been more ready to hit the biggest mall on the planet in my life. Let's get stuck into this and see what the heck's in here. The screen is so big, it's giving me vertigo. Should you buy more? The attractions in this shopping center are unparalleled. This is a very large LED screen on top of a very large aquarium. But it was not long till we found an ice hockey rink. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a lot more to see in here, but we just did not have time. We decided to grab a taxi because tomorrow we have something interesting organized. And you have what, sir? My oh. Are you checking the roll cage? <laughs> That is correct. We are squished into the back of a Y62 patrol that has a complete internal roll cage ready to do some wild jumps out in the dunes. We are heading to the desert and I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie. The scenery was changing, the camels were appearing. Time to throw on some local attire, sign our lives away and jump on this interesting quad bike.
Okay, I'm not going to lie guys, pretty disappointed here. I thought we were actually on some sort of safari tour where they take you out in the cars and you get to explore the desert. Instead, they kind of throw you on these really slow quad bikes and you drive over corrugations for an hour, getting dusty. So, wasn't exactly what I'd planned for, but highly recommend you do your research before you head here. If you're chasing a thrill riding experience in a 200 series out in the dunes, this was not the tour to do. <laughs> You are closely chaperoned by our leader and a follower, so you can't go off course, you can't stop. They make you take photos in one spot. I shouldn't complain too much. It's still really cool scenery, but yeah. Welcome to the desert. We are on safari, and this is our chariots it's basically a few of us in the group and we're exploring the dunes out here in Dubai I'll keep you up to date TJ out <laughs> oh no the other one pulled up oh. That's a 10 out of 10. It wasn't long till they put me on a sandboard and shot me into a valley full of tire ruts to break your butt on. easy. <laughs> However, Stevie has informed me that she had a great time, so that is good. After the quad biking though, it's time to jump back in the car and head to a traditional barbecue and learn a bit about the culture. While we're doing this gnarly off-roading, enjoy some footage of where I thought we may be going. Alrighty, time for a camel ride. However, they don't actually take you anywhere. It's just for a photo, I found out. <laughs> okay, we are on a camel ride. Out of nowhere. Look at the sunset. Look at the sunset. How do you feel about this? The one behind us is a bit concerning. <laughs> <laughs> However, you do get to see the sunset while you're up there. It's pretty cool, I guess. And meet the camels. They're very well trained and very pleasant. Wasn't long till we got the barbecue dinner, it was pretty good actually, and I found these drinks. This one's like Fanta, but even better. I don't know what's in it, probably heaps of sugar, but I like it. <laughs> Stevie's loaded her plate up with three times more than she can eat, and she's not even mad about it. Time to enjoy some fire twirling, traditional dancing that is lit up with LEDs. And bit of a display with the local horses. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed our little trip to the desert. It was time for us to head back to the hotel. What's our cleaner done? Hey, these are just a nice gift. I bet your housekeeping. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Is it because it's our last night? He knows. Maybe yeah. they do it for everybody. This little travel vlog was inspired by the videos I originally made on the main channel. If you've enjoyed this, consider subscribing. All kinds of random content that won't fit that main channel anymore. Thanks for dropping by.